friends. All right, y'all, we are back at the house. Um, I figured I'd film our Bible study in the car, switch up the scenery, you know, you gotta always change it up. But um, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. And yo, we are literally so close to hitting your 900 subscribers. So shout out to you guys because we are really close, man. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, praise God and let's continue on this path of righteousness and saving souls, man. That's the main goal for us. But, um, yeah, man, that was a good chest and shoulder workout. It was really good. Um, I did forget to do rear delts, though, so I'll probably do it next week. Um, I usually do rear delts, like, two times a week. But, um, yeah, dude, the cut is going really strong. Like, as you guys can see in my posing, I have that, like, last layer of fat on my lower stomach that's, like, slowly going away. But that's, like, the only fat on my stomach that's left. So that's all I need to get rid of, and literally I'll be chilling after that. But, um, yeah, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing this series. I know I said this in a previous video. Um, but if you guys have any, um, if you want me to continue doing it, let me know in the comments. Um, but, yeah, I always say that, and then I just end up making another episode. Because, honestly, bro, I enjoy making them. And this is probably my, like, most favorite video to make so far. Just, like, the way I, like, put it together is, is just, like, I don't know. I liked it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, let's get into a verse. And All right, so today's verse is Luke 1 verse 45 and it says you are blessed because you believe that the lord would do what he said so when we when we put our utmost faith in god right when we don't doubt god we'll be blessed for it because he he it pleases him when we continue to praise him continue to trust in him and continue to increase our faith in him because when we're relying on our own understanding 
you're not really like trusting god they're kind of trusting what you think is right for your life but when you trust what's what's god's plan for your life it just turns out so much better bro we just need to get more focused on that because the only thing we want to do is never going to please us we need to always focus on god's plan and what it is he wants us to do continue being his good servants continue spreading the light because that should be our main goal bro like nothing else in this world really matters all we should really focus on is just spreading the light and trust me like i know it's easy, it's easier said than done like it's hard dude trust me i know but um yeah dude like even me you know i go through battles all the time dude like all the time in spiritual warfare every day but like just recently like i've been getting like hate comments on my shorts if you guys don't tap into my shorts um listen to my shorts i always spread the word spread the light on there but um i was in there and somebody was like oh like if god's so if god's so loving why does he make it so hard and it's like i try to explain them like dude the reason why life's hard is because we disobey god and adam disobey god which is why sin let uh sin enter the world and death enter the world which is the death of many but i said jesus offers life and they're like oh you're so confused and it's like bro like at the end of the day i'm not here to try to convince you guys that god's real i always tell people like i share the light but at the end of the day it's really up to you guys who want to do the research so i suggest reading the four gospels read matthew mark luke and john or that's not four but whatever read matthew mark luke and john and yeah man and just see see how reliable jesus is. see the way he lived see if he's credible because i can guarantee you there's no other man that said he was gonna die and then be resurrected on the third day no other person claimed to do that and it's, it's there's just so much evidence bro there's so many there's 500 eyewitnesses there's so many disciples like it's like it's dude when you consistently believe that we are created by uh, evolution it doesn't make sense because the fact that we have morality and are able to understand what's good and bad is not possible because if i were to kill whoever's watching the screen whoever's watching this video if i were to kill you right and if it benefited me in my social class and it just benefited me why would it be a problem but the fact that we know if oh if you kill somebody it's bad that's like it makes you think okay there has to be some higher power that determines what's good and bad we can't just think that life is just oh yeah we know everything and i'm smart and you're dumb but the reason is bro is because people want to continue pleasing their flesh so when you try to tell them truth it's hard for them to understand because they want to continue living the way they want to live and trust me bro like i did that and it's never gonna fulfill you it literally does not so people always question deny truth because the truth is hard to accept and I already said this in a short, people would rather believe a lie because it makes them feel better than to believe the truth because it's harsh and they don't want to accept that their whole life has maybe been lived wrong. Dude, we're here to serve God. We're not here for any other reason. Dude, literally like you could try a million things in this lifetime, but you're still not going to feel like you have purpose. The only thing that makes you feel like you have purpose is literally having a relationship with Jesus Christ and accepting him into your heart and having faith in him and picking up your cross, denying yourself, picking up your cross and following him. That's the only thing that will literally give your life purpose because then you understand what your job is to do. Our job, like my job, is to spread the light to you guys and be God's good servant. And this isn't me talking, dude. This is the Holy Spirit inside of me talking. So this is God talking through me to you guys and we got to understand that dude you got to understand the power that you have hidden inside you you can't continue to live in this blind world this this decaying world every day because the devil just tries to offer us so much stuff that's like so temporary bro we got to focus on what's now and where we want to be in the future because at the end of the day i saw this ver uh this quote and it was like if the if the living people knew what the dead people knew everybody would follow jesus which is true bro because imagine imagine if you could talk to your dead mom your dead sister any dead person that got kind of dark i'm sorry if anybody's parents passed away i'm sorry but yeah man like literally just imagine bro like if you were able to talk to a dead person i guarantee every single person would follow jesus but there is still those people in, in my short there in my comments like oh no i wouldn't and i'm like okay bro well, at the end of the day it's not up to me so continue doing what you're doing i don't really care i, I do care because i love you and jesus loves you and he's trying to offer you eternal life and the devil's just trying to offer you eternal hell and just suffering and agony and gnashing of teeth dude they did the way they describe hell in the bible bro i i know like whoever's watching this bro i i just i know that somewhere you guys don't want to be and i know it's hard dude i know it's hard to like 
sacrifice. But you got to think about what Jesus did for us. He sacrificed for us. He didn't even know us. How many people would do that for you? Not a lot of people. You may say yes, but dude, there's not a lot of people that are just random strangers that would like die for you because they love you. And that's what you got to focus on, man. Just the love and mercy that God provides. I'm not saying continue to live in your sin when you accept him in your heart because you have to be born again. You have to literally deny yourself. That's what denying yourself means. It means denying your flesh, denying what your flesh wants and following what your spirits want, what your uh, your spirit wants. And it's easier said than done. Trust me. You're, and even when you follow Christ, you're going to have battles every day. You're going to get attacked way more because when you're serving God and doing God's will, the devil doesn't like that because he wants everybody to burn. That's why people don't understand how they worship the devil, because it's like, bro, the devil does not care about you. And they think that, oh, if I worship the devil, he'll give me things, which he probably will. But at the end of the day, it's temporary. And when you're dead, he's going to be like, ha, I got you. You try to serve me. You serve me the whole your whole life and you didn't you didn't want to follow God. So guess what? Now you spend the rest of eternity with me and your soul is done. Essentially, because people want yo, people don't want to work a nine to five. They'd rather get clout and get famous and do all this and do all that just because it, it pleases their flesh here and they're like oh, okay i feel more validated because i have money and success on earth bro at the end of the day i'd rather have a mansion in heaven and i do have a mansion in heaven waiting for me so i'd rather have that than a mansion on earth that's just me though i don't know about you guys that's just me but yeah man like we gotta understand the power that's that's hidden inside of us you gotta really accept christ into your heart and stop thinking life is just Okay, I'm just here, and then I just do whatever I want, and blah, 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 blah. Dude, trust me. I'm like, I'm not trying to be rude, guys, but like, dude, your life has no purpose if you don't follow God. You could die today because your life does not matter. What are you here for? Seriously, what are you here for? And you don't say, oh, I'm here to love my parents. How do you have the ability to love? That's another thing. How do you know how to love? Because, bro, if you're just if you're just here and there's no God, that means you're just, you're just chemical reactions and you just navigate through life because your chemicals tell you to and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter if you kill somebody. It doesn't matter if you kill an autistic kid, kill a Down syndrome kid, kill babies. It doesn't matter. Just do whatever you want, essentially, which is what people want to do. They want to do whatever they want. They don't want to follow God. They rather serve themselves than serve God. And that's the problem, bro. And sometimes the harsh truth is the hardest to accept. But I can guarantee you when you accept the truth, that's when you turn to the light. And that's when the light enters you. And that's when you're on the path of righteousness and not on the path of leading to hell, which is where many people are going to go because they rather follow themselves and follow what they want and what they want in their life. And understand that if you follow God, he's offering eternal life. And it's easier. It's said than done. I know. But at least you understand you know where you're going and you'll have life bro and that we just gotta focus on that man but um yeah i'm ranting <laughs> but yeah god is good man god is great jesus is king of kings the devil has no power on anybody watching this i hope this is edifying your guys souls and i just want to let you know you're doing great man i know you're if you're going through a spiritual battle just keep trusting god man he's got you you got to believe that God will get you out of it. You got to believe that he will continue to grant you the wisdom and the knowledge and the peace in your mind. You got to get you got to believe that he will continue to allow to work his plan out for your life. Just keep believing, man. Keep the faith. We got to stand firm in your faith against anybody that mocks you. Praise God. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. Uh, yeah so um don't forget to like subscribe guys thank you for the continued support uh, i'm probably gonna wrap this video up here uh love you guys so much man and um as always man have a blessed one love y'all